this blue flame in there, so I know it's hot. Hell yeah, it's hot. Wait, put your dick in there. Let's find out. Thank you, but no thank you. I had to wait until I cooled down to do this video. Because, man, this is hot. It was like 80 degrees. Couldn't be doing this video. Um, so, as you see, it's cooling down, obviously. This video is on wool. You know, wool, man, wool. Look, flat out, if you're a bushcraft guy, woodsman, mountain man me then wool you love it um that's a huge staple in my diet in my bushcraft diet i mean it's it's just it's just huge man uh look you can tell when guys are serious man because they break out the wool wool's heavy but you want to hear something you're warm uh, it's, 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 there's so many benefits to it. Uh, it, it you gotta think, you gotta look through history, even history through the times. Uh, it, it was, it was just, every military had wool because it was just, it's reliable. It's a force multiplier. I mean, think about it. I mean, I, th I think, I think the United States military, I mean, they have some wool products in the United States military still. But they were using wool, a large, a large amount of wool, all the way through the Korean War. You know what I mean? That, that's that's French and Indian War, Revolutionary War. You know, you go do, 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 do. French and Indian War was even before this country was even thought up of. I mean, so that just tells you right there. I mean, and, and even beyond that, wool, wool plays a huge part of survival. It's huge. So. The product that you already know what it is, you know what I mean? It's it's you know, it's it's something that you needed. And and look, you can get you can make these shirts. Quite literally, you can make these shirts. Um I can get wool shirts all day, every day at reenactments. I mean it just just I mean, jeez. Most most of the coats the uniform coats, like uh, for uh French and Indian War, well which I do, I do French and Indian War, Rogers Rangers, then I do Civil War. Um, all the shit that they wear is wool. Wool and linen, you know, and cotton. Um, so, but wool is huge in, in, in reenactment. Uh, we, we have a saying in reenactment, reenact, it's time to put on the wool. You know what I mean? For real. What the hell? But it's awesome. It's, it's good stuff. It's, it's excellent stuff. I wear a lot of my wool, my reenacting wool stuff when I'm out doing my bushcraft stuff. But I also wear this shit right here. And this right here is the Lester River wool shirt. And, uh, okay, so, uh, I'm gonna put it on. Yeah. There it is. There we go. We'll just, there we go. Look at that. It's probably like, bro, it's big. Fucking right, it's big. You want dead air space. Look, you gotta have dead air space. Um, look, survival has nothing to do with fashion, okay? It's surviving. You know what I mean? Uh, that's just the way it is. That's just, that's the way. But a lot of guys wouldn't wear this to dinner. I would. Because, dude, for real. One, who the fuck's gonna say anything? I mean, serious? If I wanna wear this to dinner, I'm gonna wear it to dinner. And plus, I don't go to those places anyway, so who cares? <laughs> <laughs> for real. So, but this. Well, it's well made. I mean, whoever made this really made it. You know what I mean? That's a lot of wool. A lot of fucking wool in this, okay? I mean, a lot of fucking wool. 
Actually, it's making me kind of nervous wearing this thing right now. I am in Vermont. Okay? You know what they do to sheep in Vermont? Yeah. Now you see why I'm nervous. <laughs> Got me creeping, see? Got me checking behind me and shit. You know what I mean? It's fucking scary over here, man. You start wearing wool. Thank God it's green. I'm somewhat camouflaged. You know what I mean? But, here we go. So, the hood. Get the little face gator here. It's pretty cool. It's like Brotherhood of the Wolf. You guys seen Brotherhood of the Wolf? That, that movie is fucking badass. So, fucking cinch it right up. Cinch this fucker right up and rip it around your fucking head. Dude, this thing. This thing's gonna get a brother killed. <laughs> Dude, you wear this shit. This is some ninja shit, man. Look at this. This guy really thought of. Uh, imagine he had like two buttons. That's all I do. I gotta put two buttons here. It's a fucking ninja warrior. You know what I mean? That'd be fucking cool, wouldn't it? Huh? You walk around the woods. Walk around the woods with fucking bushcraft. Like, you know what I mean? You can pull, throw sparks at him, you know, have, have, your, have your ferro rod, throw sparks at him, and disappear. You know what I mean? Because you got, you got the green, so you, you know what I mean? I think I'm on to something. Little Lester. River guy. Whoever made this shit. I think military contracts on your dinner plate. I think you need to contact the Pentagon about this. Oh my God. Some people don't like my humor. You know what I mean? They, they, some people don't, man. They, they want serious. They want, to, they want you to get super serious about bushcraft, man. They're just all like, you know, like, you know, walk around with a chip up their ass. They don't want to break it. You know what I mean? This is to you serious motherfuckers. That's to you, bitch. So, anyways, this, uh, you know, it's comfortable. People don't like the itch. I love it. Yeah, I, like I said, I reenact, you know what I mean? It's, this is, this is nothing. You know what I mean? But this right here, this, this right here is like, I mean, if, if you were doing heavy work detail with this bad boy, I can already tell you right now, just from moving around, you know, doing my shit, um, you want to take this off. I mean, this, this right here is just... I can't say casual because you can do work. You can do labor with this. But I mean, if you had like a light under, like a t-shirt underneath this, like what I'm wearing right now, just, the, you know, just a wife beater. Just a, ugh, answer me, bitch. You know what I mean? Something like that. Then yeah, you could probably work some serious detail with it on. But I mean, if you had, uh, you know, if you had like a sweater or some shit underneath this, or windbreaker or some other thing, yeah, you know, yeah, I would take it off. You know what I mean? This shirt is definitely for like the hardcore bushcrafter guys. You know, I, I, I guess you could be like a weekend warrior and wear this. You know what I mean? You're definitely going to stay warm. It's, it's really well made. So, here we go. I'm just going to bore you guys with the fucking stupid details that you see. Got a little hand poppers here. Don't want your little teensy wrist to get cold right so these are four all right so you get shot cord right here you saw cinch it up get the hood get the fucking neck gator 550 cord you know what i mean you get the stupid on the bottom here you get this so keep your fat rolls from falling out This is what I'm talking about. This is pretty, pretty well made right here, man. I like this. I like this design right here. This is great. This is a good design. And that's the reason why I got this shirt. Because of this design right here. Uh, I just wanted to see what this was about. Curiosity, man. But So, my scribing 
shit sucks, okay? I just want you to know that right now. But I did like a little cut out what that shit looks like. You know, this, this, the panel here, the pocket, kangaroo pocket here. So here it is, ready? <clears throat> so this front panel has three pockets. You know what I mean? The smallest being the, the, being the middle one. But these uh, two side pockets here, you know, they're pretty badass. Um, you can fit like cell phone, maybe something bigger, my, uh, mylar blanket, some shit like that. So there you go. So you get three pockets. That's it. Um, and now the main body, that pocket, that pocket actually has something like this. So you have the pocket. That's a zipper. Okay, zipper. See, scribe still suck, man. You know what I mean? Uh, you can got D rings. D rings right there. Okay. Um, so that, that's 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 pretty much it for that. I mean, that's it. I mean, but it's well made. It's very well made. Yeah, I mean, this guy really. I mean, the stitching on it is great. It's machine stitched. It's really good. I mean, it's it's definitely it's definitely you know, it's not made fast. You know, it was thought out. This was well thought through. I mean, it's pretty pretty badass. I love it. I can't wait to test it out. Look, it's it's not even cold here and I'm like you know, I, I, I'm comfortable. You know, I'm super comfortable. I mean, I could actually picture, you know, using this and incorporate this into, you know, let's say if you really had to sleep outdoors, I mean, I am going to test the shit out of this because now I am like curious, curiosity. Um, so the pocket here, it's reinforced. So that's pretty cool right there. That, that, like I said, this guy really thought it out. You know what I mean? Really did. He would like reinforce that so you know you wouldn't rip that at all. That that's pretty it's pretty cool. You know what I mean? Pretty badass. I'll show you that D ring. The plastic D ring right here. Um the pockets are Oh shit, it's like a it's like those running jacket material, man, you know what I mean? I don't know how else to say it. It's like, you know, the the zipper, that zipper right here. I'm actually going to put some uh, 550 cord, one of those 550 cord keychain things on there. So it just makes it bigger so I can unzip it and shit like that. But yeah, I don't know, bros. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty good. Um... It's definitely going to be interesting using this. Um, like I said, I'm very familiar with wool. Uh, I'm a huge fan. You know what I mean? But you definitely want to watch out. Okay? Especially you, you know, woods guys are just, you know, you're really into the other side of stuff. You know, you start wearing this stuff, you know what I mean? Creeping around. Doing some bushcraft stuff, you know what I mean? You're bent right all over doing some bushcraft. Watch out. I'm just warning you, there's a lot of wool here. A lot of wool. You know what I mean? Somebody might mistake you for a... <laughs> it's a joke. Just joking. Just joking. Okay? Now, you guys need to lighten up a little bit. Now, I'm try just trying to put serious note on this, okay? No, no. No, I'm not trying to put no serious note on this. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. You know, you, honestly, you're going to have to get one to fully appreciate this. You know what I mean? Like, like it's like a... I can tell you what a steak tastes like. Ugh. That fucker splatted. That was gnarly. Did I nail that bastard? Oh. 
I nailed that bastard. He splattered all over that. All right. So anyways, I mean, I could tell you all day what, what this is. And, you know, the best way, you just go out and take a look. If somebody has one, you, you know, take take a look at it. You're going to see it's really well made. Uh, the price point on it is like 300 bucks, somewhere around there. Uh, 300, uh, two, it's like two, two, two and some change, but I just round it 300. Um, so you are paying, you probably are paying some bucks, you know what I mean? But then again, it's survival, man. You know what I mean? It's how, how, how far do you want to take it? You know, you know what I mean? And, uh, again, I, I will say this, you know, and I will say it's quality, quality. You got to get quality. I mean, most people, man, they, they go out for the bargains and I get it. You know, and I get it, you know, my people, these penny pinchers, you know, I get it. But let, let me let me tell you this right now. When it comes down to it, you really need it. You want it to last. You know what I mean? You want it to last. And uh, if you're serious about it, then there you go, you know. Oh, fucking Gail, she could probably fucking sew something like this. Like, awesome, awesome. She, she can sew. Man, can that woman sew? Yeah, I mean, she can sew. You see some of the uniforms she made. Uh, she made Bill. Holy cow! Damn, can that woman sew? I need to. I need to post some of the stuff that she sewed. It's impressive. Super impressive. Um. Yeah, she could e easily sew this. I'll sew something like this up. But but yeah, so that's my video. This is it right here. Uh, it's the Lester River Boreal. Boreal. Fucking did that shit on purpose. He's got to be French. Fucker. Um. <laughs> for my survival, as always, thanks for watching. Good to go. For breakfast. We have a hot dog, Hebrew Nation, of course, with soup. Yummy, with a hint of ash. Delicious.